I am here to discuss your channel's broadcasting of my documentary, The War on Geoblocking. It's about how geoblocking causes television shows to be screened days, sometimes months later in Australia than overseas. What's wrong with that? Geoblocking is vital for advertising revenue and the profits of this network. And for producers like you, geoblocking enforces your territorial rights, allowing you to sell your doggo to multiple markets. As the documentary says. I haven't watched it. No time. So let's have a look at the trailer. I'll just download it then. I'm Thief and Pirate, and I'll show you how a thief and a pirate can deal. Well, maybe not. How about VPN? Throw off that box. Why the outlaw? He symbolizes Australians using virtual private network masks to look like they live in America and access American streaming services. Why can't they just be patient and watch programs when we broadcast them? Digitization of television along with its convergence with other media like the internet means Australians risk seeing spoilers on the web if a program is delayed. Spoilers? It's when someone reveals what happens in a show before you see it. I would thump anyone who did that. You cannot hit them if they're on the internet. Don't use the internet. All that typing. Geoblocking means Australians usually pay more to watch television shows. Pigs ass, television is free. I mean pay more for programs that are much cheaper on overseas sites like HBO. RT wankers. Unfortunately, it's geoblocked. Bloody ripper. So Australians can't watch Game of Thrones on it. They have to use expensive Foxtel. Another bunch of wankers. They charge people to watch reruns and then steal my advertising revenue. Foxtel's streaming service is cheaper now, but many people are used to pirating shows like Game of Thrones. Yes, bad habits are hard to break. And downloads of shows from iTunes cost Australians much more than people in the US. Look, ours have always paid more for products from overseas. It's a bit like an Australia tax. Exactly. There's also the problem of smaller catalogues of programs on Australia's streaming services like Netflix. Another bunch of wankers. There's plenty to watch on free to air, so there's no need to steal it from overseas. It's not necessarily stealing. Using virtual private networks is legally a grey area, and some say it's morally right. Choice magazine encourages Australians to circumvent geoblocking using VPNs. They say geoblocking increases costs for consumers. Wanking commas. And Malcolm Turnbull says it's legal for people to use VPNs. How could you mention him? He's the biggest. 